So how do you import samples into Dub Turbo on a Mac? Another big shout out going out to Doran actually, because since I've got this Mac, I've been troubleshooting these problems myself here uh, instead of our testers or our support staff. And I've figured out quite a few things, which I'm happy about and you guys will be happy about too. So you can now import on a Mac right into Dub Turbo, the same way you would parse on Windows, you, you're going to parse on the Mac. And just to prove it to you guys real quick before we start, we'll draw in some bars. I'll open this up. I'm on an iMac right now. Here's all my ZZ wobbles, and I'll go through the process of adding the ZZ wub wubs. Okay, so we're going to close this up. First thing we need to do is install your Dub Turbo. I'm assuming you guys are already at that step. You're already at the step where you keep, you don't know how to import yet. So we're going to go to get. I don't even know if you need X11. I have it because I was trying to use our PC VSTs and wrap them with with WAC VST and the virtual effects machine or VFX or whatever. And I managed to do it, but it was only pulling up sliders for me, not the visual interface. So anyway, um, get X11 just to be sure. And if you already have it, then great. If not, it might work without it. I'm not sure. You guys can try that, but you will need the wine bottler. Just go to winebottler.cronenberg.org. I'll put the link in the description for you guys install wine and wine bottler and you'll have this little wine icon up here when it's running and what this will do is allow you guys to actually use our parsers okay so here's how we would normally do this um, in applications you'll have dub turbo 2 and you'll notice there's no folders or nothing it's just an icon so you'll right click on it show package contents this will literally pull up all our stuff and in here you'll have resources which has all our samples and the data and, this, and the parsers that we're going to use. So we go to samples and you have drums. There's all our drum samples, keys, all our key samples. You guys can rip these apart and take them out and use them within your other DAWs and samplers as well. Um, but what we're going to focus on are these two exe files. You see when I highlight them, they already pull up the wine icon. That means it's going to be assigned to that program. And now because I have wine installed, I can actually use these. So what I'll do to demonstrate is I'll go to our members area in our resources area you'll have uh, the new web webs volume one and volume two so I tested volume one and I was like yeah it works let's do a video quick before I forget how to do this <laughs> so we're gonna download volume two right now it's 22 megs okay and then when you download the zip file and open it up you'll have all this you'll notice one is called keys we're gonna put that in the keys folder and we're gonna put the rest into the drums folder so holding down shift I just grabbed these guys in my folder here for drums, I'm going to double click on that or simply drag right onto the drums folder. Okay, then once you drag them in there, here they are at the bottom, zz-webweb. So now that they're in here, I'm going to parse, oh, no, I'm not yet, actually. I'm going to grab my keys and I'm going to do the same thing. Just go to my keys, make sure I'm in there, and then just drop, drop it right on there. Okay, so now in my keys, I also have zz-keys-wubs, and here's all the keys. And you'll notice why we did it this way in a moment, once we parse both. So now that I have wine installed, again, um, what you'll see happen here is I'm going to parse drums and parse keys, and new icons will pop up. You'll double-click. It'll ask if you want to run this through wine. You say go. And here I thought it crashed for me. I'm like, uh, what the fuck? And then it just started, boom. There it is. Actually, it popped up in the right place this time, too. Great. So there's our new drums, drums.dubbank file. I'm going to need to go back a folder, so I'm going to copy that. We'll get rid of it after two, but just for now, copy. We'll go to data. This is our actual live data folder. This is what drum, Dub Turbo reads from for both drums and keys. And then here, we'll simply paste item. It'll ask if you want to overwrite it, just like on the PC. You say yes. And now there's a new drums.dubbank file there. Okay? We'll go back to samples. We'll get rid of this guy now. We don't need him. He shouldn't be there. He's just going to cause you confusion later when you open it up or whatnot. Um, I just do Mac delete as my shortcut. It gets rid of it. And now we added keys as well, right? So we're going to parse the keys. It'll ask you if you want to run it. Give it a moment. Let it do its thing. It'll pop up with the keys. Copy the keys. Go to your data folder. Overwrite the old keys. Replace it. Great. So now when we start Dub Turbo, we'll have the new samples in both the keys and the drums. Let's go look. Dub Turbo starts up, no problem. 
if something happened there and you didn't do something right or you added folders or you renamed something differently and something's not matching up it won't run and if that happens we gave you guys a backup folder so what you'll have to do is revert whatever you did go into your samples keys get rid of whatever you added get rid of that get rid of the drums that you added the zz wub webs and wobbles just basically go back to the beginning without any new samples added in your backup there's a data folder there there's your original drums keys um don't lose these simply do the same thing overwrite the new ones and you'll have your old original dub trouble back and it'll run no problem i don't know why that happens for some of you guys but there's how you fix it so let's just go ahead and drag in two bars i'll quickly remind you guys if you can't drag to the end like i just did right there make your bar four bars four count and then drag halfway okay it's the same thing now you're at two bars open that up go to n to z go down at the bottom there's our new wub wubs wicked okay now we're going to go to our keys and make sure the keys are there too and the keys don't forget they're spanned so now we have 45 spanned little web shots and web webs and here we go last one zz keys web webs or webs <laughs> Anyway, so you can get really creative now with spanning these as well as the one shots that are uh, put together in groups of 10 that sound nice together. Some of them are full bars. So they're done, they're done at 140. So if you go, boom, tss, push, tss, I'll try to do 140. It'll last for the whole bar. Some of them are labeled half bar and quarter bar or uh, snap when they'll be spanned. So you guys can get creative with having the sound last the whole bar, half bar, quarter bar. Some of them are really small little ticks and uh, put together in a nice string, you get wicked, wicked sequences out of them. All right, wicked, I'm glad I did this. Sorry it's taken so long. I actually thought it wasn't possible. I didn't think the parsers would work on a Mac, just running wine, but there you have it. Um, glad I did this now and I'm hoping you guys get used out of this and now realize you can make your own samples in Logic or in whatever else. Um, just make them nice and short. Don't make them any more than four seconds, I'd say. 16-bit stereo wave files, not AIFFs, but waves and then go through the same process, dump them into your samples. If you want to span them, put them in your keys. If you want groups of 10, put them in groups of 10. In those folders, make sure you don't have any extra folders, temp files, anything else, just the WAV files. Name them one through 91, like one dash, whatever, up to nine and then 91. Because if you put 10, 10 is actually before two in numerical, real numerical format. So it'll go on the second pad and mess everything up. So one through 91, and then we usually put two kicks, two snares, two shakers, and then random the rest. So that if you do have nice uh, beat patterns going on and you switch kits later, it still makes sense. The kicks are where they're supposed to be, snares are where they're supposed to be. But if you're doing wub wubs or if you're doing samples or effects of any kind, then it's whatever. You just lay them out however you want in groups of 10 or in keys to span them like we have here for the, for the uh, wub wubs. Awesome. Thank you very much. Enjoy using your own samples and importing our new ones now that you can using Wine and Dub Turbo 2. Peace.